Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if I look like a hot mess. I'm really sweaty because I just got home from the gym. But today I'm going to show you guys what I eat throughout the day. So it's kind of like a what I eat in a day vlog style video. The reason why I'm doing this is because so many of you have been asking me to do this and you're always asking me what I eat and how I make it and that sort of stuff. Obviously every day I eat slightly different things, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I eat today and I'm gonna show you how I prepare it and that sort of stuff. It's gonna be super chilled out, just me vlogging kind of thing, nothing too fancy. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple for you guys just so you can sort of have an insight of my diet and that sort of stuff and yeah. Maybe if you guys really like it, then I can do it more often and show you guys all the different sort of things that I eat. I think I will mention um, before I get into anything, I do live quite like a healthy lifestyle. We don't really have any junk in the house. My whole family is very, very healthy. My mum is an absolute health freak. Um, and my whole family is gluten and lactose intolerant. I'm not gluten intolerant, but I just don't eat any gluten or any wheat um, just because like I don't have to and it's not in the house. So why would I eat it? You know, <laughs> um, it's not good for you anyway. So even though I'm not gluten free, I still don't eat any gluten if I'm out and stuff like that and I get some bread, I do that, but yeah. But I am a lactose intolerant, so I do not have any dairy in my diet um, at all because I'm quite badly intolerant. Um, I'd almost say I'm allergic to be honest because if I do have any dairy, then my throat swells up. Like I don't just get like a little rash or a tummy ache or anything like that, like most intolerant people do. I literally get like my throat swells up and like my whole head sort of swells up and I get a headache and I like get like a head cold and I feel so sick. So no dairy. <laughs> and I also have recently stopped eating meat only because um, I just, I've always had a bit of trouble digesting meat and it just wasn't sitting very well with, you know, my diet. Um, I, for a long time was off chicken and pretty much all red meat. Um, the only sort of meat that I would eat is like a bit of beef here and there, or a bit of turkey mince and fish, of course. But now I'm just completely off it. Every now and then I will have some seafood or some fish. So I'm not going to call myself a vegetarian. I just don't eat any poultry or any red meat or anything like that. And 80% of the time I am a vegetarian. <laughs> so yeah, if you like meat, you can add it to some of the things, um, but yeah, I'm just, I don't even know what I'm going to eat today. I'm just going to absolutely wing it. But it is breakfast time. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to show you guys what I typically have for breakfast after the gym. It varies, but this is what I typically have. And I always post this on Snapchat. And you guys always ask me how I make it. So I'm going to show you. So pretty much I'm making porridge. Um, so what I have here, let me just turn these lights on so we can see. Pretty much what I have here is oats that have been soaked in rice milk overnight so we just soak heaps of these it just it's better to digest when oats have been soaked um, so I've just put some of that in a little saucepan here just gonna pop that lid back on and put it back in the fridge okay so I have my like soaked oats in there and all I do is I just turn on the stove and I add some more milk. So I typically drink rice milk. This is the brand that I get because this brand has got the purest ingredients. So you can see it's got filtered water, whole brain, <laughs> whole brown rice, sunflower oil, calcium phosphate, and sea salt. Always read your milks because a lot of them contain all these additives and artificial things that you really don't need. So. I'm just gonna pour some, this is really hard to do with one hand. I'm just gonna pour some milk in there. And I'm gonna give this a mix. I feel like I'm doing a little cooking show. I feel like I put way too much oats in there. I'm not gonna eat this much oats. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I'm just gonna mix all that through. And you know what's done when it looks a little like this. 
so it's nice and not too runny not too sticky or anything just a nice you know consistency <laughs> okay so now my porridge is in my bowl now I either grab honey or rice malt syrup today I'm gonna grab honey and I just grab like a little spoon like that and I kind of just mix it through I like it to have that sweet taste to it if you don't like your things too sweet then you do not need this at all because we will add some more sweet ingredients then I add some organic cacao powder I just get this in bulk from like my health food shop and then I put it in this jar and I just take a little scoop of that and just sprinkle that on and this is my favorite part hazelnut meal amazing because it makes your porridge taste like nutella this with the cacao powder is delicious honestly guys you need to try this so i sprinkle a bit of hazelnut meal on there and really then you can just put whatever you want here i've got some shredded coconut so i just like to grab a bit of that and just sprinkle that on and then here I have some paprika seeds. God, I need another hand for this. So I'm just going to sprinkle those on. And then I actually put this green calcium powder on there just because um, it's just what I take. So I just kind of sprinkle that on a little bit. I don't need too much, but... Obviously, you won't take that if you're not meant to. It's one of the supplements that I have to take. So I just pop that on there. And we're ready, almost. That's what it's looking like so far. But the finishing touch is always adding a bit of fruit. So I'm going to grab a little container and some shoes. <laughs> now, the beauty of my garden is that I've actually got berries growing. So I can go outside each morning and pick myself some fresh berries and pop them on my porridge. So there's what I'm gonna do. So this is my berry bush out here. Okay, got some blackberries here. How about I pop you guys up here? Guys, this is the worst vlog, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna pop you up there while I pick some blackberries. Look how good these look. Can you see that? Can you see that? Guys, who wants to come over and pick some berries? Because there are so many. Holy shit. Oh my god. Can you just look at how fresh these are? I have more than enough here for my porridge and then just to snack on throughout the day and I think I will mention as well the reason why I do like to incorporate berries um, into my diet every day the ones from my garden is because they are from my garden they're free from any chemicals because we don't spray them with pesticides and all that stuff so they have so much nutritional value and when it's picked straight from the tree so many vitamins and it's so good for you like you have no idea when it's picked straight from the tree how good it is. And they're so sweet. So there it is, guys. It doesn't look too glamorous right now, but this is the most delicious breakfast ever. So filling, so nutritious, and it's literally my favorite. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go enjoy this now, and I will catch you guys later when I decide to eat some more. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me again. It's been a couple of hours and normally like I would have had lunch by now, but I really just don't feel like lunch. I don't know why. Like I've been working on my computer 
the whole time and I just went out for a walk because I was like I hate sitting down at the computer for too long like I feel like shit so then I went for a quick walk and now I come back and I was like I'm gonna have lunch but I'm just not feeling like lunch yet I don't know why so I'll just have like a really late lunch today but I did make just um, some fruit so I've just got some green watermelon what's it called honeydew honeydew yeah um, and just some berries from this morning in there and then I have just some almonds in here to snack on so yeah pretty boring but that's just my snack um, for now and yeah okay guys so I'm finally having lunch so I'm just gonna show you what I'm having this is literally leftovers from things that I found in the fridge. There's some like rice noodles in there. There's some beans, some chickpeas, and I found a boiled egg. So I just sliced that up, put it in there, put a bit of salt on it. Um, I put like just a little bit of herbal seasoning. Actually, let me show you the one I use. So this is the one that I use. Um, it's like a veggie salt. It is so good literally puts the best flavors so it's got sea salt and all the vegetable herbs and stuff like that it's all organic nothing bad in it and it honestly just makes everything taste so much better without any nasties so that's really good i get it from the health food shop it's about ten dollars but this thing is pretty big and it lasts for ages so i just mix that through there so literally i've just <laughs> got leftovers um, and then I'm going to have a few little um, tomatoes. I'm going to cut up a capsicum and I'm going to cut up a cucumber and I'm just going to eat it with that. So yeah, that is my lunch. I know it's nothing too exciting, but I'm usually pretty lazy when I'm working all day. So when I can find leftovers in the fridge and I can just chuck something together and it tastes good, then that's what I'm going to be eating. <laughs> So I'm going to have a little afternoon snack while I go lay outside in the sun for a bit. I'm just going to have some mango and I'm actually going to have a peach as well. So this is my afternoon snack. <laughs> Yummy. So it's dinner time now. Thank God because I'm absolutely starving. So today I'm going to make, um, well, not really going to make it because I already had it from yesterday. I made these little burger patties pretty much. Let me show you what they are. So these are my little burger patties. They're pretty much cauliflower based. So they've got cauliflower in them and cabbage and a few other things. These ones are kind of green because they've just got some spinach in them as well. Um, I think I'm just going to go with that one. And then I'm going to make like little burgers. So I've got my gluten-free buns in here. I'm going to add some hummus. This is the only brand that I buy. I just get it at like Coles or whatever. This is the only dip that doesn't have preservatives or any artificial flavors or colors or anything. Um, it's called Castle Main Dips. It's absolutely my favorite. All the other hummus has all this additives and all this shit that you really don't want to put in your body so always 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 read what is inside dips and half the time they have like dairy and stuff in them too so always read that um i'm gonna put some spinach in there i'm gonna put some alfalfa might cut up some tomatoes and some beetroot because i absolutely love beetroot and then I'm going to put some linseed meal on there. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. It's so, so good for you. It's full of fiber and I literally just sprinkle that on really anything because it doesn't really taste like anything. So yeah, I'm going to make my little burgies. Ta-da, that's my little burger. How good does it look? I can't wait to eat this. And then I've just got little cherry tomatoes on the side because I just like to snack on those. But yeah, this is my healthy little burger. Nice vegan burger. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm starving. I'm gonna go chill out 
and eat this and I'll catch you guys for dessert. Okay guys, so before I have a shower and get ready for bed, I'm going to show you guys what I usually have for dessert. So as you guys know, I absolutely love ice cream. It's like my favorite fruit ever. I'm going to show you my two faves because I can't eat normal ice cream. Zebra Dream, definitely my favorite brand ever. The mint and panachoc chip one, one of my ultimate faves. Love this so much. It is like... It tastes so good, guys. Um, and it's coconut milk base one. Another one I really like. I like this brand. So delicious. Um, this is the cookies and cream one. Not my favorite flavor. The snickerdoodle and the cookie dough ones. Amazing. Um, but the zebra jam takes the cake for me, really. So, yeah. I'm probably just going to have, like, a scoop of those. And I just thought I would show you some of my favorite, like, little chockies that I like to have. So I absolutely love Loving Earth. I always usually get like a big block, but I don't have any of those left. But I had a few of these little ones. The lemon and the salted caramel, absolutely amazing. And then, but I do have to get that from like my health food shop. If I can only get to the supermarket, I'll get the Sweet William one. And this one's um, just like a milk chocolate with rice crackle. Um, so these are both um, like dairy free and everything like that. This one's even like refined sugar free and all that. I'm not sure about this one. This has got raw cane sugar. So this one's got sugar in it, but this one doesn't. This one's so, so good. Um, so yeah, that's what I sometimes like to have if I feel like something sweet after dinner. But yeah, tonight I'm gonna have this. Oh my God, yes. I need to show you guys what it looks like. Yum, it is honestly so good. I can't wait to get this down. Anyway, that's the end of what I eat in a day. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos. Um, this is just like what I ate today. Um, it's not what I eat every day. I always mix it up and have a few different things every now and then. So please let me know, you know, if you'd like to see more of these type of things or if you'd like to see any recipes or anything like that. If you'd like to see some healthy alternatives for sweets. I'd be more than happy to do that. So let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions or anything like that, comment. I reply to every single person. I try anyway. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.